times, but this time, you have been called here for a purpose. Hello! Hello, hello. Hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, we're just letting the pre-roll ad play out for a little bit. I figured I might as well go ahead and stop in and, you know, say hello to everyone while that's going on. Uh, we do have a prediction going on for anyone who hasn't noticed, though I think the majority of you already have. Um, we're trying to, we're trying to predict if we'll have any fun with this game or not. It's a G.I. Joe movie tie-in game, so... Do with that information as you will, man. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. I've never played it. I know absolutely nothing about it. The back of the box make it look like it could be okay. But I don't know, man. I also have no idea. Like... Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I don't want to influence anything. We'll see. <laughs> oh, how is everyone, though? How is everyone tonight? Nate, you're at level 80 on the mine. Nice, man. Almost to the bottom. Thanks so much for telling me to contact support. Apparently, there have been issues with this driver before, and they're redoing the refund. I'll update you guys on that in a second. Nate, hi, Ru. By the way, I have a really embarrassing story regarding this show. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, you're going to spill the beans, right? You kind of have to now that you brought it up. Like, there's really there's really no choice. You brought up an embarrassing story with the game that we're playing, or the show related to the game, although this was a movie. Regardless, you know what I mean. <laughs> what happened? What? Why? Why? What? Why? What's embarrassing? Also, everyone voted yes, it looks like. Man, it's going to suck when you all lose all of your money. <laughs> well, not money, but your channel points. Retro games. You're guessing it goes to 100? I mean, I could tell you, but where's the fun in that, man? You know what I mean? Like, maybe it goes to 100. Maybe it goes to 800. Maybe it goes to 420. I would say 69, but you're already past that. Anyways, <laughs> we only got a few seconds left in the uh, the pre-roll ad. Your friend in OJC had this game called Hydra, where it was Mafia but Marvel, and the Mafia was Hydra agents. Okay. You were a Hydra agent with the club leader, but when the game was over, when we won, I said Hail Cobra instead of Hail Hydra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, honestly, reading it doesn't sound that embarrassing, but I can imagine in the moment, especially if you were somewhat younger, that, yeah, your friends would have never let you live that down. I can see how that would be embarrassing. Wow. <laughs> oh, Lord almighty. I'm just uh, sitting here enjoying this heavily crushed JPEG of a background here, like... You can hardly tell that's Channing Tatum. I don't even know who that is. I have seen the movie. I don't remember if she's like a famous actress or anything like that. But yeah. And then the last dude, I mean, he's all covered up. So yeah. Anyways, though, let's get started, shall we? Let's uh, let's get into it, man. Press start to play. This game uses autosave. Create new save. Yes. The text is very small. I'm hoping we can turn on progressive mode somehow because uh, that would probably help with the text. I imagine this game was made to be in HD since it did come out in 2009, which is really late for a fucking PS2 game, man. You know what I mean? You're about to ask who the fuck these people were? Yeah, they're the characters from the movie, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell, honestly, with as crushed as everything is. Because it's all crushed, man. Oh. Having some network problems, it seems like. I dropped a couple frames there for a moment. It's okay. Pretty sure we're back. 2009. Yeah, dude. Like, it's pretty pretty late in the game, you know? The PS3 came out in what? Like, 2007? 8? When did the PS3 come out? 2006. The end of 2006 is when it came out. So, yeah, basically 2007. So this came out years after the PS3 came out. Like, 
Bruh. <laughs> it's not the last one, though. It's that last PS2 game to come out. Hey, thank you for the five bits, Noodle. It's gone rogue. Mars supplied some of our best weapons in the past, and we can't let all that tech get in the hands of the bad guys. Joes, let me introduce you to Dr. Adam Burkhart. We'll be working with him to take Mars down. After years of being forced against my will to design Mars weaponry at their ice pack base, I'm glad to finally be free to help. Board without anybody to shoot, Baroness. You need some reading material? What I need is already here. Sorry, I was letting the, the cutscene play out. Didn't want to interrupt it too much, especially because, like, it's impossible to read the captions right here. <laughs> you can tell this was made for an HD screen. That was a real problem. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. That was a real problem when the PS3 first came out. A lot of games uh, that were cross-gen or that were made on the PS3 and played on a like CRT or something like that, it was impossible to read the text because they were made for HD screens. But you know, back then people were still playing a lot of them on CRTs. And like, yeah, it was a real issue. I remember, I think Assassin's Creed was one of the big ones that came out. And like, if you played it on a SD screen, you just could not see it. Anyways, the final PS2 game, I don't know the exact one, but it was either FIFA 2014, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2014, or an expansion for Final Fantasy XI. So, yeah, dude. <laughs> All the way up and now, now sports titles are always, you know, have one year later name than what they actually are. So, 2013 they were still releasing some PS2 games, which is just stupid. <laughs> Honestly, like ridiculous, man. Oh, that's, that's a big jump in brightness. What the hell? <laughs> so we go from five, which looks, you know, decent. I was like, maybe we can make it just a tiny bit more bright, man. You know, maybe just one point or something. Bam, burn your fucking eyes out. <laughs> like, holy. Hell, okay, no, five, five's fine, I guess, and there is no progressive scan, so that's annoying. Uh, we'll leave everything else on default. Just get out of here. You do remember that, Rue? Yeah, that was a, that was a thing. Team roster. We got the Duke. He's a combat soldier. Uh, that's his real name. His serial number is two three four five five G I B nine G I eight nine. I don't know. Primary weapon is the M2X1, suppressive fire assault rifle, and his specialty is a s something. A grenade launcher. Holy sh I forgot that quickly. And then we also got uh, Scarlet. She's a commando. Shauna O M O Hera, Sergeant E5 62429SC34, 9mm machine pistol, and laser guided crossbow. Very cool. Triple burst explosive homing bolts for a specialty. All right, well, we can't really do much with our team roster, so let's just go into whatever the first mission is. With heavy duty captured, it's up to Duke and Scarlet to scour Bear Paw Canyon in search of their fellow Joe. They'll face heavy opposition from Mars Industries. Also, did everyone end up voting yet on that prediction? I think. I think they did. What am I not paying attention to? I remember... I... I... What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at my thing. I don't have any. I don't have any things that I'm missing over here. Scroll up your messages, dude. You missed one from me. Said, "Oh, do I have a donation thing set up? Gotcha. Yeah. No, I didn't pay attention at all. <laughs> I completely missed that one. Sorry. I do technically. I never talk about it because I don't know. It feels weird taking donations." Um, but there is a way that you can donate if you want. Uh, it's in my link tree there at the bottom. Uh, so right there, the, the link tree thing at the very bottom, there's a tips and donation section. Um, you can donate whatever you want or nothing at all. That's fine. Nobody <laughs> needs to feel like they have to donate. And I will say just a warning, 
It's not linked to Twitch in any way. This is completely separate, so donations will not pop up on Twitch. I know a lot of people like seeing their messages on Twitch or whatever. I don't have that set up, so mainly because I don't like PayPal for anonymous donations, and that seems to be how everyone does it. Uh, so yeah, but anyways, so yeah, just, just throwing that out there, man. If anybody wants to donate, they can. Nobody has to. And I'm sorry, but your message ain't going to pop up special on screen or anything like that if you try to leave one. Just to be completely clear and upfront with everyone. <laughs> uh, game difficulty is set to casual. Is this correct? Yes, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Oh, we get to pick one or the other. I was kind of hoping we could use both in some way. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just play with Channing Tatum because, I don't know, he's cool. Oh, wait. We are playing with both people. Then why even ask? Well, I imagine we can probably, like, replay missions or something like that. And whenever we replay missions, then, you know, like, that's a thing. But, yeah. Because, like, I know on the back of the box it says that we can unlock more characters, which, I mean, seems obvious. But I think it even said something about being able to unlock some of the Hydra people or Cobra people or whatever. So, I don't know. Welcome oh! To Bears Paw Canyon, Guess we'll find out. The Mars facility, codenamed Genesis, is about 20 clicks to your north. When I was held hostage and forced to work for Mars, I had access to much of their operation beyond the ice pack. This facility has been working with microscopic tech called nanomites. The remote location is a failsafe so that any accidents involving the metal-eating nanomites would only destroy the facility and not... All due respect, Doctor. I'm not in the mood for a history lesson right now. Stow it, Duke. Sir, I believe what Duke is saying is that we should be trying to track Heavy Duty and Baroness. The Mars facilities can wait. Fair enough, but watch that attitude, Duke. Now, go find Heavy Duty and see if you can track the Baroness while you're at it. <laughs> I'm a robot voice who's pretending to be a doctor? Yes. <laughs> Yo, Joe. Welcome to the Arctic. Before you begin the rescue op, let's check in with Stalker. Stalker, any intel on your end? We're in luck. We intercepted a transmission indicating that they're holding a prisoner at a small outpost on the other side of this ridge. So, find the outpost, find heavy duty. Looks that way. Better double time it before they move him to another location. Thanks, Stalker. Duke, you ready to move out? Always. Let's go. Okay, so how do we actually play this game, like, at all? That's a... <laughs> Use L to move around and R2 to fire your weapon. Oh, no. Oh, that's... The... Okay. We move fast. We... <laughs> uh, I am sorry to say, guys, you might be losing your points. <laughs> I mean, okay, we haven't actually played the game yet, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just automatically say it's bad, but, um, it's a little iffy at best. No problem, Scarlet. Just point and shoot until they're all chewed into scrap. That definitely is not Channing Tatum's voice. And, okay, it ought, oh, hi there, we got fucking hit. The death, there, we don't have to aim either. It's automatically aiming for us. Now, okay, we didn't change the difficulty setting, and the difficulty was automatically set like to casual, to I think. Road, so, like, maybe if it's not on casual, that wouldn't be a thing. Oh, we can duck. Cool. You from enemy fire. Okay. Can I control the camera at all? I can't. Can not even a little bit. Love it. The enemy. Try it How do we do that? I would like to I would like to vault over the cover. Hold L forward and press X to vault. Cool. Nice there we go. Cool. We vaulted. I'll give you a <laughs> on the oh, and that's how we that's how we switch characters. I can teabag. Got it. I, I do like that. We've got a Joe to rescue. Heads up, there's movement ahead. Uh thanks for the heads up, man. I appreciate that. Oh my god, it looks like a fast version of the Young Justice game. That was absolute garbage. <laughs> so I really shouldn't expect much from the game, is what you're saying, then. Got it. Whatever bad guys. Destroy their cover. Wait, how do I. How do I destroy their cover? What? How does that work? How does. I'm so confused. It popped up like a grenade or something. Can I use a grenade? Oh, wait. 
Nope. Uh, okay. The D-pad does nothing. That I can tell. R1 switches characters, which is cool and all, I guess. Done? What is done? Did you... Did you put a donation? Is that what you're saying done to? If you did, you really didn't have to, man. Like, that really was not necessary. Thank you, of course. Thank you, seriously. That's awesome. But, like, <laughs> I do appreciate it a ton. Like, that really does help out. I appreciate that, man. But nobody has to, though. I don't want anyone to ever feel like they have to. But, again, thank you. That's really kind of you, dude. Really. Black Viper file card found? Okay, what is... Is that, like, a key card or something? Also, I'm still mad. Oh, wait, you know what? I... I don't think I've tried, like, square or triangle or circle. You know, the other buttons. Uh, so, okay, so old-fashioned fisticuffs. Missiles and, and, and bullets don't do shit, apparently. Oh, circle did something. I think circle, circle is my noob tube. Okay, so that's, like, your special weapon. What is square? Square is, oh, okay, that's just your normal attacks. Square is. Also, we didn't need to get up and close and personal at all. Like, it just kind of worked. I say I did need to. You've been making me laugh my ass off for seven months. Again, appreciate it. But no, man. The content is is free for anyone that can't afford it. And for the people that can and want to, uh, a subscription is, is, you know, enough, honestly. But for the people who can, I do. Like I said, I really do appreciate it. Like, that's, that's awesome of you, man. And it, it does help out a ton, you know. It really does. It, re it doesn't even matter, like, how much. It helps out. That's, uh... You know... And for anyone who's curious, any any donations or anything like that are 100% just going to go towards the stream. Because um, Noodle and I, you know, we're not rich by any means, but our bills are paid. So any money I make from this just goes back into buying PS2 games. And right now the goal is to get a green screen so I can enable, can enable the camera so you don't see my mess of a room behind me. I mean, it's not that bad, but you know. Uh, <laughs> and getting games, man. I need to get more games. I'm behind on buying games. Like, I have games to still play. Don't get me wrong. We're, we're not like in any worry of running out in the next couple of weeks or anything like that. But I was, you know, keeping up buying more than I was actually playing, but uh, things happen. <laughs> How much does that cost? A green screen? It depends. Um, but <laughs> just forget the green screen. <laughs> oh, Lord. I love you, Noodle. Anyways. Um, it depends. I've, I've looked at a couple different options. It looks like it's probably going to be around 60 to a hundred dollars, probably. Cause like the cheapest way to do it obviously is just to get, you know, a big green piece of fabric and, and put that behind you. But I want one of the ones that come with like a mount that can be either folded or like rolled away or something like that, because I do stream from mine and noodles bedroom. And, uh, I can't leave it up all the time. <laughs> so I want to get one of the ones with like the, the thing so that I can move it out of the way whenever it's not being used. So it's going to be a little bit more, I just picked up but, a uh, of but not unreasonable a in my opinion. Prisoners transferred to a location just ahead. Ooh. And then my plan going forward after the green screen, because I don't and think I really need man. anything else for for the stream right i mean i have a decent mic i have a ps2 and a backup ps2 if required i have you know memory cards bunch of games my plan after the green screen is to get uh certain games like the more expensive games i'll probably like pick one of the ones that are you know like 60 dollars or more or something like that and that'll be like the goal for for whatever for the uh for donations or bits or subscriptions or whatever that'll be uh what we we collect that stuff for after the green screen but yeah right now just trying to get trying to get that damn thing man the uh last round of subscriptions and whatnot everyone gave to me if they're curious went to getting the camera that i have now that i haven't gotten to use yet because i don't have the green screen to go with it and a handful of games so again thank you all that uh support me i appreciate it press circle to perform a special attack each player can store up to three special actions oh that's what the little yellow dot things are that makes sense 
So wait, the grenade icons that keep popping up, is that what they are? They're not actually grenades, they're just my my special attacks. Oh wait, no, I have I still have three, even though I just used what? I'm confused. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. There's a couple of generators up ahead. Take them out, and I bet the shield will go down. Okay, so oh, okay, okay, okay. So we're just like moving through the level, destroying the generators so that the, the thing at the beginning goes down. Anniversary edition added backpacks. Fuck yeah, yes, it did. It added backpacks, it added fishing, it added uh, a survival mode if you're into that sort of thing. I know I am, but it's not for everyone. And honestly, like, I really like the anniversary edition. I know some people gave Bethesda slack because, uh, or not slack, flack because it uh destroyed some mod support on the pc side as well as uh, um it's basically just you know the million three release of skyrim <laughs> so i get it but like i don't know man i i was a fan of it i thought it was good press triangle to activate accelerator suit i'm pressing triangle and it's not doing anything Triangle. Ooh, are those like homing missiles? Okay. Try this again. Triangle. Triangle. I'm pressing triangle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we hold triangle while running? I'm confused. <laughs> Does it make us like run faster? It doesn't seem to be making me run any faster. I think they're full of shit. Honestly. What are you even shooting at? I thought it was supposed to automatically lock on, dude. <clears throat> Lots of houses. The bone wolves make me sad, though. Wait, what? I, uh... Oh. Well, that's weird. It just kind of worked hey, now. You and your tech heads have any okay. I... Heavy duty is. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know what happened. I've been pressing triangle this whole time. And now all of a sudden it's just it just worked. Also, I can't move. Why can't I move? There it goes. What is the Bone Wolves? I don't know. Is that one of the like 70 mods or whatever that's in it? Bone Wolves are resurrected wolves, but they're basically a small amount of flesh and bone. Oh, they look like they're suffering. Yeah, that would be sad. Speaking of resurrected things, though, I think that's another thing that they added in the Anniversary Edition was uh, more necromancy stuff, if I remember correctly, which is cool. I uh, I like more magic. So that's one of the few game-changing mods that I've ran a couple times in Skyrim are the, uh, the magic ones. So... Just because, like, having more magics to play around with is just really fun, you know? I like magic, but a lot of times it just feels a little underpowered, honestly, until until you get deep into it. And once you get deep into it, it, it's really powerful stuff. But in the beginning, holy hell, dude. It's basically impossible to be, like, a pure mage in the early game unless you're on an easier difficulty or really, really good at the game. And I'm not. <laughs> The bone wolves are actually part of that. Okay, okay. See, I didn't get to get too deep into it. I started a new run once that came up, and uh, I'm playing a pure mage. Well, nearly pure mage, but I, yeah, I haven't had the time to get too deep into it. So, you know, yeah. But <laughs> that's neat, though. That's neat. I like the sound of bone wolves. Besides the, you know, look like they're suffering bit. That's not so much. I've managed to pinpoint heavy duty. He's somewhere beyond that gate. Hold on. I've got enemies inbound. They must know you're coming. In other news, though, for the stream, or streams in general, in case anyone missed it, work did change my schedule. I now work on Saturdays. Um, so the whatever game we're completing stream did have to be pushed to Mondays, which sucks. I was really hoping to have a at least one big weekend stream. Um, but, you know, my day job pays the bills, so I kind of have to pander to him as much as it sucks. Um, we're not going to, you know, lose that stream. We're still going to do a bigger stream every day where we're playing, um, 
a game to completion, but it sucks that, you know, it's not on the, the weekend, because I feel like more people are more available on the weekend, honestly. But anyways, and then on top of that, I'm trying to figure out a way to do a bit of a restructure on things. I have no idea how I'm going to make it work, though. <laughs> I want to, basically, I want to stream more, is, is the, the gist of it. But I have no idea how I'm going to fit into my schedule. Because I, I want to do a minimum of three to four PS2 games a week, not including the games that we're, we're trying to finish. Right, because that's what we're doing now, and I don't want to do any less. I want to, I want to keep continue doing that at a minimum. But I want to branch out a little bit, you know, stream some Nintendo stuff every now and then. I've been really into Stardew in, in general. I would like to, you know, maybe do a little bit more of that. Um, maybe something on the PC side, like like uh, Skyrim as an example. You know, something that comes up in and chat all the time. I want to do stuff like that, but I just don't know how I'm going to fit it into the schedule. But it's something that I'm thinking about and may end up changing in the future, just so everyone is aware. Also, we are clipping straight through that. Like, we're not even attempting to walk over this bump in the door here. We're just walking straight through the fucking bottom of it, dude. That's awesome. Anyways, <laughs> you can tell the port they put no time into at all. Like, <laughs> that sounds fun, though. Thank you. I'm glad you think it sounds fun. I do, too, honestly. And I, I really am trying to think of a way to make it work. The only way I can think, possibly, is to increase my stream length a little bit. But it's just a matter of balancing, you know, the stream life and and personal life and then the job that pays the bill life. <laughs> because, you know, I still need time to shower, eat spend a little bit of time with noodle every day things like that so i'm just trying to get it all figured out um because if i was able to increase it to like three hours a night then i could do an hour and a half i could do two games a night an hour and a half each or if we're really really enjoying a game that we could do you know three hours of it instead of instead of two um so there's that and then that would mean we could play four games in two, ga in two days instead of playing four games in four days. So that would give us two days a week where we could dedicate like one game maybe to Nintendo stuff. And then the other one to uh, Stardew. Or we could dedicate one instead of it being to like a specific console or anything like that. We could dedicate one just to whatever the hell we want to play basically. Probably to completion but not playstation 2 specific you know like a uh, skyrim or um one of the zelda games or pokemon Yo, or or whatever <laughs> and then the other one could be something rules. recurring um because i'd really like to have a, a recurring series to something like uh stardew valley or mario games or pokemon games or whatever you know something to have a bit of a, a niche that we pander to basically every week so that's that's the best idea i have right now but i don't know how i'm going to exactly balance it with everything so don't expect it right away but maybe in the future that's uh that's something that'll happen that's that's definitely it's definitely in the cards you know being thought about just to, just so everyone knows what's going through my head, you know, what's what's going on with the the stream thing. I want to keep everyone updated on that sort of stuff as much as possible, of course. Also, we destroyed that thing like fucking nothing, dude. That went down quick. It's always impressed to watch two Joes on a tank, or no, on foot. Uh. <laughs> Well, that lip sync was off. Yeah, this whole port, I don't think they really spent any time or money on. <laughs> Honestly, they just kind of I feel like they just kind of threw it together because it was a movie tie in title. So they wanted to milk it for every penny they could. And uh, what better way to do that than release it on the top selling console of all time? Who cares if it's two years, three years outdate at this point, you know? Kidding me? Oh. Another update. Uh, Twitch sent out an email to... I don't know if they sent it to 
everyone or only partners and affiliates or whatever i have no idea but uh there are going to be some changes coming to twitch um basically they are finally enabling a way to disable pre-roll ads entirely meaning people who aren't subscribed won't have to watch an ad before they join the stream at all which is awesome that's what you know i've been wanting to do and that's why we run a minute and a half of ads every hour because that kind of gives us a 50 50 split you know 50 percent of people that join and aren't subscribed will have to watch an ad 50 percent that do don't essentially so that's kind of why i've been doing it like that the downside is we will have to run slightly longer ads but our breaks are usually three to five minutes anyways so i feel like it's not that big of a deal because we will only be running ads unless you know i forget and then everybody can yell at me and we'll move to the to the please wait screen um so people won't actually be missing anything our breaks themselves won't be getting any longer the just the ads during that break period will be getting a little bit longer so i feel like it's not that bad of a trade-off and again there won't be any pre-roll ads that'll play at all once those changes take effect so of course i'm willing to hear everyone's feedback on that specifically you know the people who aren't subscribed um because they're the ones that are going to be impacted by that the most but you know anyone who wants to chime in is more than welcome to i think it's a pretty good idea personally but i'm not the one you know watching the stream i'm the one streaming it right yeah okay <laughs> Congratulations on completing your first mission. Heavy Duty is back in action and ready to roll. He insists on coming along for the next mission. But first, you need to purchase him from the team. You have to purchase him? Uh, I didn't know we were slave traders. I don't know how I feel about this. The team roster lists all unlocked active Joes. To gain more information on other characters, you'll need to find their contact information or rescue captured operatives in the field. Okay, that's... Unlock a character for six battle points. Well, we have eight. Let's unlock heavy duty, man. Hell yeah. So it all works out. Exactly. Yes, it all works out. It's perfect. <laughs> he, Herschel Dalton, Sergeant E5, 80446LM65. Primary weapon is an automatic cannon chain gun. Okay. His specialty is variable suppressive fire capability. Interesting. Uh, I imagine we'll get a mess with him during the next mission. Why not? I also need a drink. Let me grab a drink real quick. I suggest everyone else out there gets a drink of water too. Water is important. Make sure you drink some. Nate, I'm talking to you. You need more water in your life. I know you do. There we go. A little bit better. My mouth was just really dry. Oh my god, guys. So, I think I told everyone about the Oreo ice cream, right? Pretty sure it did. It is amazing. But, the other thing that I was going to mention today. Today, well actually, technically last night I put it together, but I blended it up today. I made the what ice cream? That's right! You weren't in stream last night. You had to go to bed. So, excuse me. So, they have... Uh, Oreo ice cream, which I mean, okay, Oreo ice cream is a thing, but no, this is, it's like a cookie and cream ice cream bar stick thing, whatever, you know what it is. Anyways, so it's or cookies and cream ice cream, but it's encrusted in like an Oreo crust. Like they take Jones, Oreo cookies, no crush them up, mix them with, I don't know if it's butter or what. It's basically like a really, really good moist Oreo pie crust coating a, a layer of cookie and cream ice cream like it is so good i just discovered well technically noodle discovered it um and and gave bought me some the other day and it is so good it's it's like two dollars i don't know if it's nationwide or what but they sell it at the dollar stores around here um so yeah for two dollars in their in their 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 ice cream section Highly suggest giving it a, a try if you're into, you know, Oreos and ice cream and stuff. It is A plus, dude. <laughs> a plus for sure. <laughs> Why the fuck did no one tell me? That sounds delicious. 
It's so good, dude. Seriously, though. Like, yeah, you should you should totally try it out. And they're not super high in sugar, which I appreciate because, you know, I try not to eat too much sugar. So I appreciate that. It's got like 14 grams of sugar, give or take. So, I mean, it's not low sugar by any means, but it's not considering... Okay, so the U.S. government says that you should have like 50 grams a day, right? I think is is the value that they set for you for, for, for sugars. Added sugar specifically. Um, I personally believe that to be a little bit high. I my own personal goal is to be around 25, and that's like I try not to eat much more than that. Um, but anyways, point is, if 50 grams is what they recommend, and there's only 14 in this ice cream bar, that's not bad. I feel like you know what I mean. You could eat a couple of the ice cream bars and still be within a, a recommended daily amount and well under what most Americans at least eat in a day. Um, not that we should necessarily try and eat like most Americans, but <laughs> still, I mean, your average can of pop has like 50, you know? So an ice cream bar with only 14 grams, that's not bad IMO. And it tastes so good. He has an addiction. I wouldn't call it an addiction. They're just very good. <laughs> I like ice cream. I like Oreos. It's a match made in heaven, dude. It's really good. But anyway, so the, the, the thing I was actually going to talk about, though, was uh, the sorbet that I made, right? So Noodle and I bought some fresh fruit like a week ago. And I completely forgot about it. We both did until a few days ago. Thankfully, all of the fruit was still good. So, yay. But anyways, it, we had uh, we bought kiwis, lemons, and mango. A mango is everything that we bought. So Noodle had the mango chopped up and put it in the freezer so that it wouldn't go bad. And I chopped up a couple of the kiwis. And I put it all down in, you know, the little tub thingy. And, and some mango, the kiwi. I put that down in there. And then I put some mango down in there. I didn't put no lemon in it. And then topped it off with a bit of the grape juice. So, you know, it has some, some liquid to go with it. Froze it, and I blended it up today after work. Oh, boy. If you like kiwi, this is just, like, kiwi to the face, dude. Like, it is so strong in kiwi. It's actually, it might be a little bit too strong, depending on the person. Like, I think it was a little bit much for noodle, for instance. But I freaking love it. It is so good, dude. Like... The only downside is that you cannot taste the mango at all. Like, it, it just tastes like a kiwi um, sorbet. But it is delicious. And I left the skin on. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but you can eat the skin on kiwi, and you totally should. It's good for you. It's super tart. I love it. But anyways, I left the skin on, so that's like extra fiber in it too, which, you know, got to get that fiber, get that get that gut health going. Uh, uh, Cobra yourself, dude. Anyways, point is, it's, it's really good. It's really good. I think, though, to help mellow it out a little bit, because the kiwi is really strong, I think what I'm going to do with the rest of the kiwi, or, well, probably not the rest because that's a bit too much, but the next time I do the ki a kiwi one is to try maybe like a strawberry kiwi. Take like a, a bunch of strawberries, mash them down so that we can fit more in the tub. Um, put just a little bit of sugar in it because let's be honest, strawberries need a bit of sugar and then only use like one kiwi. Because for this, this one here, I use two and a half kiwis and uh, half a mango, a little over half a mango. And yeah, you can't taste the mango at all. So I'm thinking like one kiwi and then just fill it up the rest of the way with strawberry and uh, just a tiny bit of sugar. And I'm thinking that should be a pretty good mix, I'm hoping. Plus, I mean, like strawberry kiwi is a is a known thing too, right? Like strawberry kiwi, that's nothing, that's nothing new. I have just about everyone I feel like has had or at least heard of strawberry kiwi. So I, I think that one will work out pretty well, too, and maybe be a little bit more enjoyable for Noodle, which, is, which would be nice, I suppose. <laughs> you know, I do like making food that, that Noodle enjoys sometimes. 
these bullets look really weird with him. I haven't mentioned it until now, but his bullets look like they're just giant orange balls of energy or something that are flying about. It's strange. I don't know why they look that way. But I guess that's another mission done. I wonder how long this game is. I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up real quick. I am curious. H L T B G I Joe Rise of Cobra, I think is the name of it, right? That that's the game we're playing. The Rise of Cobra, yeah. The Rise of Cobra. For PS2, the average completion time is 6 hours 38 minutes. There's only one entry <laughs> for it, so that's good. That shows you how well this game did. Um, okay, but I mean, that does seem pretty average, because two players on the PlayStation 3 pulled it at 6 hours 30 minutes, and then uh, five people on the Xbox 360 pulled it at 6 hours 32 minutes, so... Yeah, about six and a half hours. Not terrible, I suppose, but not uh, not something we're going to be completing tonight either. How about lemon with raspberry, so, strawberry, and blueberry? If you get by the yes. Field, <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm just thinking in my head, would it be better with all of that mixed together in one? Or would a raspberry lemonade on its own be better? Would a strawberry lemonade on its own be better? Would a blueberry lemonade on its own be better? You know what I mean? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm just I'm just thinking out loud which which one would be better. I do plan on trying to make my own lemon sorbet here soon, Nate, just so you know. Um, so whenever I do, if it's any good, you're welcome to, to try it. I, I won't be able to give you as much as I did uh, with the lemonade that you gave me, but I can give you at least like a, a small bowl of it like a single serve or something. Uh, but my plan is to literally just take, I think I mentioned it to you or at least mentioned it on stream at some point or something. My my plan is to just take the, the tub that it comes with, fill it up with strawberry slices entirely, and then pack it in a simple syrup um, to to make it blendable and also to sweeten it up just a little bit. But I want, like, that intense, real lemon flavor. You know what I mean? I just want lemon to the face, basically. I'll probably also add a pinch of salt because lemon and salt go amazingly together. Honestly, I don't know, like, what real sorbet recipes are like, you know, like, at all. But from what I've seen from my, my tests so far that I've done, a pinch of salt is just good, okay? <laughs> like, in, in ice cream, it does well. In the, the couple fruit sorbets that I've put a pinch of salt in, it works well. And, like, salt and fruit usually go pretty well together, so why wouldn't you do that with sorbet, too? Plus, salt inhibits freezing, which should help make things more uh, creamy whenever it's whenever it's blended up in the machine. So, I don't know. All in all, I think it's just a good idea. So, yeah, I'll probably be doing, like I said, filling it up completely with just lemon slices with the seeds removed. And then a pinch of salt and some simple syrup. Freeze that up and then just blend it to hell and back until it's a nice, smooth, delicious thing. And, yeah, dude. You're thinking all in one first because you've tried them all separate as lemonade before. Good point. Good point. A strawberry lemonade sorbet sounds amazing right now, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure all three would be great, but I love pink lemonade, strawberry lemonade, stuff like that. It's just mwah. You know what I mean? So good. <laughs> it hits the spot every time, man. Good stuff. I was not paying attention to what he was saying at all. I'm not going to lie. Anyone else getting some buffers tonight? Uh, it's not me this time. I will say that much. I, uh, I looked over a couple times to make sure that I wasn't still dropping frames. And, no, uh, I haven't dropped. I mean, other than, like, the one or two that always happens here or there. Uh, I haven't really dropped any since that, that big drop near the beginning. So. But, yeah. I hope, I hope it's not too bad for you, Rue. Now, I have noticed, though, in my in my dashboard, I've noticed it buffer once or twice, so I don't know if Twitch is having problems or if it's just, you know, my internet being funny. I don't know, but... 
Must still be some wind outside? Yeah. It's been, like, <laughs> there were some big storms that came around our area too, but weather, I mean, I was going to say luckily they missed us, but I guess for some people that's not so lucky, you know? <laughs> if, you're, if you're into storms, I know Noodle gets mad all the time that these these storms are supposedly gonna hit us and then they either do and they end up being nothing or they just miss us entirely <laughs> like this last one so you know luckily unluckily it's up to you but yeah interact how oh, do we just put some bombs on it blow it the hell up let's go all right twitch i'm ready to fight if i have to uh <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, I got your back, Rue, but uh, I think Twitch might win that fight. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there, man. Twitch is, Twitch is a big thing, dude. They got, they got that Amazon money behind them. You have unlocked a bonus Arctic mission. Upon completion of this level, you can play Operation Arctic Ooze. Ooh, talking of ooze, man, is anyone going to play? that uh what the hell is it called the tmnt game i am most likely gonna end up picking it up i haven't yet i'm waiting until maybe when i get paid it, it'll either be this pay or my next pay i'll probably pick it up i think from what my friends have told me i think it's 25 dollars on digital and it's uh some some awesome tmnt side scrolling brawler goodness type stuff so, yeah. I've heard I've heard some good things from, you know, my friends that have played it. So I'm, I'm hoping it's good. But it also seems to have reviewed fairly well as well, which is exciting. Oh, my God. You know the other thing I'm excited about? I'm kind of surprised I haven't brought it up on stream already, to be honest with you. As everyone out there knows, I absolutely love Final Fantasy VII. The, the remake and especially the original. Um, during the 25th Final Fantasy anniversary thing that went on yesterday, the day before, whenever it was, they finally announced that part two of the Final Fantasy VII Remake Trilogy will be coming out next year, dude, which honestly, I'm kind of surprised. I expected it to be, I expected it to be a, a bit longer, so that's exciting, but on top of that, they also showed off, why can't I pick this up? Anyways, they also showed off that Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, which was a prequel to Final Fantasy VII that was originally released on the PSP, is getting a remake for basically all major consoles. They only announced Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two for PS5. That's the only console that they announced it for. But the remake for Crisis Core, uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, whatever the hell its full title is, um, is apparently coming to PC, Switch, uh, Xbox playstation like everything essentially so that's honestly that's really cool so hopefully a lot of people get to play that game because not i feel like a lot of people missed it because it was on the psp and it's actually a really good game like storyline is great gameplay is above average right it's not amazing but it's good so yeah give it a chance if you're if you're into final fantasy 7 at all highly highly suggest excuse me highly suggest giving it a chance you only like storms when you're not home alone. Fair enough. Peter was able to take out the whole internet just by peeing on some servers, and businesses typically have some shit security like that. What? <laughs> uh, I think I think I needed to read that message earlier for it to truly make sense. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I do not like the way this drives at all. Hey, we can still collect things while we're in, in this thing, though, so that's good, I guess. Oh, you taking on Twitch. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fair. Last time you were in a thunderstorm, you hid in your Nana's closet because you got so scared. I love thunderstorms personally. When I was a kid, I uh, grew up watching that movie Twister. I don't know if anyone watched it or not. Um, but I really like that movie. And I actually wanted to be a storm chaser when I was younger, man. I, uh, you know, I don't see any money in it, so that never really panned out. But it... it, it honestly like interested me enough that i that i uh considered doing a, a, something like that with my life you know chasing tornadoes and and just large thunderstorms and shit like that i think that'd be uh really cool oh, actually 
You're not scared of them. You love them, but I don't want to be alone in the dark. You <laughs> girl can't see shit. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't already know, Noodle has legit night blindness. She can't see anything in the dark at all. Like, uh, her low light vision even is just absolute ass, you know? If it's not bright AF out, she's only seeing half the world. <laughs> at best. Rest too many bad experiences. Also loud noises if loud enough hurt the hell out of my ears. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That would suck, especially like close thunder and stuff like that then in that case. Um, get back in the vehicle, dude. Why? Oh, because I tried to, I tried to activate her suit, which is you do with triangle, but you also get in and out of the vehicle with triangle. Yep. Oh, that camera shift was awkward. No Need to play Nancy Just Drew Trail of the powerful. Twister? When okay. Up, <laughs> is that like, is it a PC game? Is it something on Switch? Game Boy? What is, what is it for? I've never heard of it. I mean, I've heard of Nancy so, Drew, of course, but... Hurry up and charging up the I, I know nothing about Trail of Good the idea, Twister. That should give the control console enough juice to open the doors. Give it a try, Joes. Also, it seems like stupid and kind of cheesy, but I kind of like the name Dow Tone. I don't know why. That's just kind of, it's, it's kind of an interesting name to me. Can we not like shoot people or something? Can we only shoot objects with this thing? I'm pretty sure I ran you over. Why are you not dead? My, our vehicle definitely went right over your body, dude. Uh, like, <laughs> why are you not dying, dick? Go down already. I'm tired of your shit, dude. Uh, where is my super suit? There we go. Thank you. That's what I wanted. PC you can find it on Steam, I'm sure. But you do join a storm chasing team and solve the mystery of who's fucking up their shit. I like it. I'm going to, as soon as we're done with this mission, I'm going to pull up Steam. And uh, if it's on there, I'll probably put it on my wish list. Because, yeah, that does sound interesting. Why am I getting major deja vu? I mean, I'm sure it's just because of, like, some sort of game recommendation we've had in the past that I've added to my wish list. Most likely. I doubt it was the Nancy Drew one. I feel like I would remember that at least. But I don't know, man. My memory's so shit. And there's a possibility it's already on my wish list and I've forgotten about it. Oh, God. Let's hope not. I don't even know what those things are that we're blowing up. I guess it's just for points. Like, report Joe Tank's intel found. Uh, cool, I guess. Do you use a national bank at all? You're debating change my bank because I use Ally and have no physical relations. Has some downsides. I also use Ally. That's my preferred bank, to be honest. I have considered changing for that same reason, though. Um, that it can be rough. But uh, Noodle uses Huntington. And uh, which I'm pretty sure is across all of America, but definitely common over here on the East Coast. Um, anyway, so what we end up doing is anytime I need to like deposit money or anything like that, cash, I just go to Noodles Bank and uh, deposit it into her account. And then she can transfer it to me using something like Facebook Pay or whatever. And that's, you know, relatively quick. <laughs> it used to be instant, but Ally made some changes a little while back and it's not instant anymore like the fuck is huntington you've kind of heard of it but you've also never heard of it it's just a bank there's nothing special about it as far as i'm aware it's just like one that's pretty common <laughs> so you know uh i had them for a little while when i was younger but ended up switching to ally years ago and mostly because they had really good interest rates is the main reason why i switched to ally but then that kind of went kaput whenever everything went to shit in America, you know? Um, and then now it's slowly on its rise again, on, on a rise again, which is nice. But at this point, the only reason why I'm still with Ally is because I it's more of a hassle to switch to someone else since I can just do that thing with Noodles Bank, you know? Uh, but, okay, yeah, that game. Let's look up that game real quick. Steam. Uh, dot com maybe steam steampowered.com login are you gonna make me use my authenticator you are i'll just pull up the steam app that should be oh it's already turned on even look at that okay uh da -da 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 store nancy drew 
Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate now available? Wait, is Final Fantasy VII Remake available yet? Or is it just Integrate? Originally recently, da, 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 by exploiting. Wait, is this the full game? Did the full Final Fantasy VII finally release on Steam instead of on Epic Games only? Because that's the only reason why I don't own it on PC is because it was Epic only. Dude, I think that is the full remake. Hell yeah. Did Kingdom Hearts release on PC or on Steam yet? Because, dude. No, it hasn't. That's still Epic exclusive. Fuck Epic, dude. Anyway, sorry. Nancy Drew is what I was supposed to be doing. Oh my god, there's a lot of Nancy Drew games. Holy crap, man. There's dozens. Literally dozens of them. Okay, history bundle. Travel. Okay, these are bundles. Midnight in Salem. Labyrinth of something. Haunted Carousel, Shattered, blah, 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 Danger by Design. Uh, Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill, Remastered. There it is, Trail of the Twister. Click. Is it like, what kind of game is it? Is it like a point-and-click adventure? I'm assuming it's a point-and-click adventure, which I'm not against. I haven't played too many of them. I, mean, I think it is. I'll add it to my wish list, though, just for shits and giggles. I'll give it a try one of these days. Like, <laughs> 33? There's 33 of them? What the hell? Did, wait, pre-order? What's pre-order? Oh, do you mean Final Fantasy VII is pre-order? No, 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 no. This is, uh, this is the, the, the remake, the part one is on here, which, uh, I'm, I think is new to Steam because I don't remember ever seeing it on. Yeah, game release Friday, June seventeenth. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate is now available on Steam. So yeah, it just came out uh, yesterday, I guess technically, but I probably didn't spend any time on Steam yesterday because I was busy with you know stuff, which is stupid. I still want Kingdom Hearts to come out on PC so bad, man. It's my God, I love that freaking game, and I can't, I can't play it on Steam, and it irritates me. I don't have the same problems with Epic now that I used to have. Like, I don't hate them as much. But I would still rather keep most of my library on Steam if I can. So it really irritates me that Kingdom Hearts just has not come to Steam after all this time. Makes me angry. Midnight in Salem is the latest in Nancy Drew. Took four years and a change in voice actors. And it was cool, but gods, there were some bugs at first. Sounds like a Bethesda game. <laughs> But um, <laughs> there's a Huntington in Colorado Springs. See, I thought it was a, a, a at least across America branch, um, branch company bank. I don't know, whatever, one of those things. But I mean, I've only spent a little time away from the East Coast, so I wasn't positive. And the time I have spent around uh, away from the East Coast has been going to Florida <laughs> to Disney World. So yeah, or is it land? I think it's Disneyland in Florida, isn't it? I don't remember. I always forget which is which. Eh, they call it a TFC here. That's why you got confused. Oh, TFC? What does that stand for? The 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 false Christ? <laughs> I don't know. I don't uh I just don't know what that would stand for. I'm so confused. Anyways, guys, okay. Uh, it is time for our break. It has been a little over an hour that we've been streaming. So we're going to take a three to five minute break while I get a chance to stand up and stretch and do all of that good stuff. I highly suggest everyone else does the same, you know, get a snack, get a drink at the very least stand up and move around a little bit because sitting for long periods of time is not good for you. It just isn't guys. So do that stuff. Take care of yourself. We'll be back in just a few minutes, everyone. Kronk is, uh, yes, the same voice actor plays Locke, I think his name is. She is held captive by one of the most vicious beasts of the dream world. The Guardian, who wields the world-destroying power of the staff of dreams. Sadly, the princess has no hope of rescue from anyone. Except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her plight... Happiness will be restored to her kingdom, and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength, 
and your courage to bear on this sacred mission? Nah, don't think so. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm out. Please. Get back here. Maybe you don't understand, Tack. Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here. A princess who has been cruelly <laughs> imprisoned within a dark and I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on, that's the oldest one in the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably gonna wake up any minute. No, Tag. If you do not accept this challenge, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I'll do it. Good. I promise you, in the fulfillment of this quest. You will learn something new about yourself, Tack. <laughs> something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Tack. You will need training before you can complete this quest. The dream world is new to you. It has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. Using my masterful command to teach you magics, I can... It was Card King, and we think he got the pack on discount. Was that including, like... Uh, uh, was that including shipping and whatnot too, though, or was that just for the pack? Because like, if that was including shipping too, that's incredible, man. Two bucks. I mean, two bucks is a good price for just a pack, even if you had to pay shipping. But still, Tack, you're kind of dumb. Tack is kind of dumb. This is true. I decide you're going to get a 3D printer. Hey, yeah, do it, man. For sure. Just don't be surprised if I'm down at your house uh, printing out shit all the time. Because <laughs> I've always wanted one. I just don't have a place to put one. That's the only reason I don't already have one in my house is because, like, I don't know where the hell I'd put it. It's the only place I could make sure the cats or, like, didn't mess with it or anything like that would be uh, in the bedroom. But I also run an air conditioner pretty much 24-7 in the bedroom. And the 3D printer needs to be able to get to a certain temperature. Not only to melt the filament, of course, but also to help the filament adhere to the faceplate. So, yeah. I'm just like, where the hell am I going to put this thing? So, I haven't picked one up yet. But one of these days I do want to. I've been thinking about, like, you can build a little box to put it in. Which also helps it uh, hit a temperature more easily. Like, helps keep it more efficient. So I was thinking I like doing that, and then if it was in a little box, I could put it in a different room or whatever, but yeah, I don't know. You ordered a bundle and a single pack paid it all with store credit, and just make sure you bring Phil in. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds fair. Okay, I'm spinning the camera around. Got it. What? I'm, did he tell us to do something else? Uh... Hello? <laughs> Why can't I move all of a sudden? Uh... Game? I'm actually... What is going on? Throw in range, use weapon and jump. Okay. Uh... Hello? I'm... Did we soft lock the game? <laughs> Like, I would admit, I wasn't really listening to what he was saying, but, um, we can't move. I'm stuck. I am completely 100%. I can't move. That's the thing. Like, I can't, hey, thank you for the bits of noodle. I appreciate it, but that doesn't help me move. <laughs> I, I can't do anything. I'm pressing every button on the controller. It's not moving. I can move the camera around, obviously. But I can't move Tack. He's just, he's dead. And my control stick's not broke because, like, I can still move in the, the, the <laughs> still move in the menu here. What the hell's going on? Uh, Google. Google, I have a question for you. Uh, Tack to the Staff of Dreams can't move. Okay. Da, 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 da. Tack stream. Yep. Now cross the pillars over here are manor spheres. You can also find bugs and hit certain plants for tennis. Stuff for making juju potions. Just kill enemies to make platform. Okay, well that that is not helpful at all. Is there like a uh we need a YouTube video, please? Uh walk through. Yep. 
Uh, 100% full game long play. Let's go. YouTube to the rescue. Mute that. We might actually, yeah. I'm thinking we probably will end up having to reset the game. But... Okay, press A twice to double jump. Alright. Yep, we, we did that. Okay, and then we got down here. Pick up the mana spheres. We did that. Okay. Hello, everyone. We are back. Just moving that. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's get back into it, shall we? Also, uh, good luck, man. You can try, but uh, <laughs> not gonna happen. I'll just, uh, I'll have Noodle protect me. Not really. I couldn't imagine Noodle ever fighting anyone. <laughs> I just couldn't see it. I don't, mm -mm. nope, that would end badly, for sure. Anyways, though, let's play some more of this uh, wonderful game. Is it too early to call it? As far as the uh, the prediction that you all did goes, like, can we can we call it now? Because I think I think I've already uh, made up my mind on whether <laughs> on whether this is a uh, fun game or not. You know. I mean, if you guys if you guys wanna uh, wanna wait for me to call it, we'll wait. But uh, I think I think we know our answer. Hmm? Uh, I was saying that I love you very much, and you are the absolute bestest, Noodle. That's what I was saying. You need to find a leak, Nate. Are you in springtime, or what What season are you in? That's an important question anytime you're talking about stuff. Because <laughs> some things are only available Joes, commonly in, you know, certain seasons. Hello, Joes. A lot of things are only available in certain times. My God, look at the texture quality on the wall. And not in a good way. Like, that looks so bad. Like, these these things, the these these screens or whatever that we're supposed to be able to touch, look terrible. The wall itself looks terrible. <laughs> that is just bad, man. That is not good at all. Love you too, though. I love you too, boo. What did I say? I said I couldn't imagine you getting into a fight, you weirdo. Yeah, you just forge leaks. They they can be basically anywhere around town, you know, to the south, uh, to the north. I feel like I find a lot of them to the to the north of the uh, the farm, up and around the mountain area and whatnot. You know, the the shortcut up to to Robin and and uh, and Linus's tent. I feel like I find a lot of them up around there, but but technically any forageable area could spawn them, which is basically the entire map <laughs> besides the farm. Although in the Four Corners farm, there is a small possibility you'll find one over by the tree stump, the uh, the respawning hardwood stump. Who am I fighting? Why am I fighting? Uh, you told Noodle they could kick my ass, and I said, ha, good luck, I'll just have you protect me. And then I laughed and uh, <laughs> said I couldn't imagine you actually fighting anyone. I don't think that would end too well. So, like, I like the fact that there's cover mechanics and things, but at least so far, it's been completely pointless. Now, I, I do admit, you know, we're playing on casual mode because that's what it set us to. So we just, we just did the default. But if casual mode is going to be mindlessly easy, then maybe it shouldn't have defaulted to casual. I'm just throwing that idea. And to Noodle, they could kick your ass? Uh, Noodle can try, but <laughs> Noodle won't succeed. We've uh, we've already discovered this. <laughs> I think I misspoke, Rue, in case you're confused. I think I accidentally said Noodle and not, not Rue whenever we were talking. Noodle isn't very confrontational. No, she's not. Noodle's a baby at heart, and that's okay. How long are these people going to just spawn in? Bring it on. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta we gotta make it official, okay? We gotta get some gloves. We gotta get some stage names. We gotta we gotta book a boxing ring somewhere. Alright, it's gonna be Creator Clash 2.0. Uh you also you need to become a creator. Of some sort, doesn't really matter what kind of creator, honestly, just just a creator of any kind. Uh... <laughs> Good. Now 
Let's move out. You would never harm Noodle? Good. No one's allowed to harm Noodle. It's already fan fiction that counts. There you go. Creator Clash 2.0, it's on. <laughs> uh, don't let them get too close. Kick their ass in hand to hand combat. Maybe not. <laughs> Just blow them up with explosives. That works better. <laughs> uh, you're in for Creator Clash? Dope. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't mind like getting into boxing or something like that, honestly, but I just don't have the time <laughs> to even really consider it, man. Hey, thank you so much for another five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate you. Your never ending support is always uh, the highlight of my stream or something. I don't know. Insert nice comment here. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, guys, I, I'm sorry that literally everyone voted yes on this being an enjoyable game. And it's not the worst game we've played. But I think, like, I think we're going to have to call this one a no. I'm sorry. But I just, I don't see how it could possibly get a yes on that. So, hey, at least you guys didn't, like, spend too many points on it, right? I think total was only, like, 600 or whatever. So that's not that's not too bad, right? Where okay, choose prediction. Choose outcome. One of you guys should have voted no. I don't know how everyone saw GI Joe and was like that's going to be awesome cuz I'll tell you what. The reason like Dorsman and I were talking earlier and uh, he asked me, "Hey, what game are you playing tonight?" I told him, you know, I don't know. Let me uh, let me look it up real quick. I'll run my I'll run my script and see what it pulls up. And uh, it popped up GI Joe, and I was instantly just like, oh no. <laughs> like, it's it's again though. To be fair to the game, it's not the worst game we've played. It's and I think part of the problem is the fact that we're playing on easy mode or casual, they call it or whatever. Right? If it was a little bit harder difficulty, I think it would probably be a little bit more fun just because there'd be more challenge to it. But it it just it looks bad. Um, which isn't the be all end all. Uh in any game, you know. I don't I, I like bad looking games sometimes. But it you can't you can't deny the fact that it doesn't look great. The gameplay is just very simple very very unengaging right i think honestly it would have been better as like a either a top-down shooter maybe if they wanted to keep it this kind of simplistic gameplay style or maybe like a first or third person shooter would have been decent but they didn't do any of that they just did this and <laughs> it's not amazing also, these guides are so bullet spongy, dude. Why does it take so long to kill them? No one did? Yeah, no one voted no. Everyone said it was going to be a good game, and it's definitely not. You were 500 of that, Nate? Holy hell, dude. You and your gambling addiction. I think the are we going to enjoy this game is going to be a uh, is going to be a thing that we do on most, most games now. We might skip it on the ones that are just, like, obvious, you know? Like... For instance, whenever we finally get around to playing Final Fantasy XII, like, I've gone on the record as saying Final Fantasy XII is a, a personal favorite Final Fantasy game, so it would be kind of, you know, the answer to that one is already known. <laughs> I don't think it'll be a surprise to anyone whenever I click the yes button. Um, or if we were to revisit, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts or something like that, like, come on, man, you, you know what I'm going to say for that one. But for all these random ass games that we've never played before, we might as well give you guys something to do with all those uh, points you're building up. Of course, here soon we're doing our 12 hour stream that you guys so generously donated points to uh, to enable. Uh, donated points to much more quickly than I expected. So the next one is going to be a lot more expensive, but we will be doing another one. Probably gonna start the uh the the bidding the the donation I don't know the thing we're gonna start the thing for it probably three or four weeks from now I imagine maybe two we'll see 
after after we do this next one i'll start looking at schedule and see when i think i'll be able to do it and then uh, go from there at the end of the day it's always going to come down to just playing it by ear essentially because i never know noodle schedule work could just randomly change my schedule again like they did this time they're not supposed to do that to be clear but they did i don't think i ever told you guys I, I i remember telling noodle but our personnel manager at the store actually did apologize to me like uh he said like it, it shouldn't have happened this way but you know he also didn't offer to fix the problem so <laughs> he offered his apologies though and that's more than what our old personnel manager would have done so i do appreciate that but again at the same time it's like you know you guys did just have the option of not randomly changing people's set schedule without asking them for their input at all you know what i mean and like i don't even mind working weekends it just sucks because that's the only weekend i had to stream on you know i don't as long as i get my two days off preferably three honestly we need to change to a four day work week that's a whole nother discussion though anyways as long as i get my two days off a week i don't really care what two days it just sucks for the whole streaming thing because weekends are a, a big streaming day obviously but is what it is can't do anything about it so there's not too much point in bitching about it let's just focus on a uh, very slowly killing these things have we died at all yet i know the other character has a couple times but i'm not sure that like the the joe that we are controlling has ever actually perished and we are definitely not playing careful we're basically just running around in circles half paying attention while reading chat and holding the the fire button <laughs> that's that's how you win this game man you just run around in circles and hold the shoot button a whole lot and uh eventually you'll get there which is you know game design at its peak for sure which i don't know why this made me think of it i don't necessarily think this game is game design at its peak but i haven't played it so i don't have a strong opinion cuphead man that's another one of those games where it's like i really just want to play that game and i would love to do so on stream but doing nothing but the the ps2 gauntlet the way we had doesn't leave any time to do so which again another example of why i'm trying to figure out way a way to uh get a little bit more stream time in so that we can we can switch it up a bit at the very least i think what we'll do even if we don't do three hours every night uh that we stream at the very least i think what we might try to do is do like one three hour night a week that way we can do two games that day and then have a two hour stream some other time for something whatever the recurring thing is is probably going to be my main focus you know um because that helps draw in long time viewers honestly is the the whole reason why i want to do that you know carving out a niche and sticking to it whether it be you know mario stardew valley sims uh city building games rpgs things like that you know just having a niche and playing nothing but that helps keep viewers and coming or returning viewers um so that's like that's the the main one purely for that reason but if i can free up two days then yeah i want to have another i want to have just a free day to do whatever something not related to ps2 necessarily unless there's a game we just really want to play on ps2 then we could but again for you know pc stuff nintendo stuff whatever irritating fools storm shadow ooh, how fancy uh your knife blades look really fancy and all i'm just gonna shoot you a bunch and uh you're probably going to die so i should remember we can dodge roll sounds cool thanks man honestly i'm glad you guys like the idea i just hope uh, we can execute on it at some point also i do plan on bringing the tits back at some point i'm going i'm going to have a conversation with my editor um their life has gotten busier lately so there's that but i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to them and see if they can at least do one video a week for me so that we can you know i really wanted to do the four but I, at the very least i want i want to do the the one a week that we were yeah they've been gone for a bit they have been and i apologize for that it's just 
you know, I, I have a couple videos in the backlog for them to do, but like I said, they had things going on and now their life's a little bit busier than it was before and things like that. And I'm not one of those people that wants to be a dick about things, you know? So at the end of the day, it, I'm just, this isn't my job, you know, at the end of the day. So it's not like my, my livelihood rides on the editor getting the games out in time or the videos out in time or whatever. So I'm not going to be a dick to them about it, you know? Like whenever they they can they can get to it they can get to it. What kind of editing needs done on those vids? Uh, it's mostly chopping up a video file, usually under thirty minutes, but sometimes it could be a live stream of up to a couple hours. Um, picking out moments that line up with whatever my commentary is on it, and uh, then adding text over the video. It's it's relatively relatively easy editing to be honest with you. Um, it's nothing hard, but until you get into a groove with it where you can knock it out pretty quick, it can be a little bit time consuming. Uh, but once you get used to it, like for me at least, once I once I got, you know, the first three or four under my belt, I was able to get them knock out the editing part in usually like 20, 30 minutes per video. But um, it depends on how much text I had to add to, though, because adding all the text and lining it up and everything made it take a little bit longer. But yeah, about 30 minutes of video. Here in the Arctic ASAP. With mass on our side, we can do both in short order. So it's your call which comes first. Ah, uh, water's good. I kind of want some flavored water, not going to lie. I need to uh, get one of my bottles from downstairs that I use specifically for flavored water. I mentioned before I have a like really nice, I mean, I say really nice. We paid like $17 for it or something, but it works really well, a uh, thermos style cup. And uh, that's what I keep all my water in, but I don't want to put flavored water in it because that'll just ruin it <laughs> forever. It'll just taste like random insert flavored drink mix thing here. And I just want this to be a water one. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want any of that stuff. Plus, if it's just water, it's a lot easier to clean too, which is nice for something like this. So I have like these really cheap plastic bottles that uh, that I reuse for for flavored water. But I'm always just too lazy to <laughs> go downstairs and get one so that I can you know fill it up with water and then uh, put some flavor in it. If you give me a couple to do some practice and see if I can knock it as backup editor i'm fine with that man yeah if you want to if you want to try it out that's not a problem you got your you got your gaming pc back right i use uh davinci resolve you don't necessarily have to use that program for the editing whatever works honestly as long as it can do the the basic stuff that's needed um but that's the one i personally use because it's free for Welcome like 90 some percent of it um, so that's the one I would suggest if you want to like download it or whatever. And, uh, I have one or two video files already recorded that I could send over. I, do I have the voice recorded for them? I think I have the voice bits recorded for them as well. So I can definitely send you a couple and you can give it a try if you want. And that's why we're here, Breaker. Joe's, I put a unit on the ground ahead of you to do Has anybody been following the story of this at all? Cause <laughs> I'll admit... I kind of gave up after the first 10 minutes or so <laughs> following this story here. Uh, I know we're Macho Man and and Lady um, going around blowing a bunch of shit up. That's that's basically all I know right now of the game. I'm sorry. The rest of you are forcing your way into this facility. Hawk out. Hawk out, dude. That's going to be my new anytime I leave a room. That's just what I'm going to say, man. Just uh, hawk out and then just fucking go. Uh, you did have it downloaded. You might have to re-download it. Yeah, like I said, if you want to. No no pressure, dude. Same as like with my current editor. I'm not going to... If you decide this is something you want to do, I'm not going to like pressure you to, to, to do it or anything like that. But if you can, that would be a huge help. I would appreciate it. Um... I said my, my goal for right now is just get to get back to at least one video a week. Long term goal was was four to five videos a week. Um, basically like a video every other day, but always having one on Wednesday was was the goal. So most weeks that would be what four videos a week. Most weeks, yeah. That that sounds about right. Uh, we should probably get in the vehicle, I guess. This looks like it could be a big level. Lift ticket can drop you another ride. 
lift ticket? These guys have, like, the most generic name. Of course, okay. I forget sometimes that this was originally, like, a children's cartoon thing. So, I mean, like, how you have Paw Patrol now with, with, you know, all the dogs with their, their cliche, very obvious names and whatnot. That's basically what G.I. Joe was back in the day. You know, you heard it here first. Paw Patrol was just modern G.I. Joe. Honestly, I don't even think that's that bad of a <laughs> of a statement. It's just to be honest, man. Okay, this vehicle controls a lot worse than the other one, which is saying something because the other one didn't control amazingly. I think it's because this one's faster. And the thing with the vehicles is they just go whatever direction you point in. And I don't like that style of vehicle control, man. It's rough. It just does not feel okay. Like, it makes it hard to control, especially whenever the camera is moving around the way it is. Because it's like a fixed angle, fixed uh, camera angle game, which, you know, I'm into normally. But, I don't know, some games just don't do it in a way that makes any sense at all. And uh, this is feeling like one of them. Okay, we destroyed all the ammo things. What can we do now? Oh, we destroyed all the ammo things so the door's going to open up. Yep, that makes total sense, man. <laughs> hey, the enemy came. They destroyed our ammo. I know. Let's just let them into our fucking compound then. Shut up, dude. That's stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> no wonder your entire army is being destroyed right now. You guys are idiots. Wait, was that the entire level? Nah, it's got to just be loading into the next scene, right? Black screen? Maybe? Something? Anything? Uh, car slowly rolling backwards. There we go. The car definitely spawned in right there. Uh, because you could tell that it kind of dropped a little bit and then bounced. And, uh, that's because the vehicle spawned in. But when it spawned in, it was, its height value was set to just over ground level. Um, so then it spawned in and fell to the ground. What they should have done is had the vehicle spawn whenever it was still a black screen. And enabled the initial physics on it so that it could drop to the ground. And then faded to the, the in-game stuff and started up all the other scripts on everything. So all the action would start. Um, could have prevented that little little thing there. It's little things like that, though, that just make it look like they spent no time or care on this game at all. Just kind of rushed it out as a, as a cash grab for the movie. And that's about it. You'll take a whack at it. If you can get nice and a reasonable amount of time, you'd be willing to help with them. Well, again, I do appreciate it, man. I will, uh, if I remember to tonight, I will tonight. If I don't remember to tonight, remind me, uh, tomorrow night, like, during D&D &D or something like that. And I will, uh, I'll get you, because I have a, a, a shared folder, um, because of the, the other editor, of course. Uh, so I will just get you permission to access that so you can download and upload files and things. Uh, also, that was the end of the mission, so that was pretty short. Or no, that was just a checkpoint. Checkpoint one of four. Okay. Cash grab indeed, yes. Yes, so much, man. So much cash grab. 100%. I can't see this game being anything other than just a pure cash grab. Which kind of sucks, man. Like, I get a lot of times studios take these these movie license projects because, you know, they're, they're in a rough spot and they just need something to, to try and get by while they work on their magnum opus or whatever, you know? But, like... Ah, boy, just put some put some passion into your project. And I'm sorry, like, if anybody that did work on this game somehow sees this video, unlikely, but if it ever happens, and, like, if this was a passion project for you guys, just know I'm not trying to, like, shit on your work. I, I, I do apologize, but, yeah, I... It's not great. <laughs> it's just not great, man. I'm sorry. I do like one thing about this car better than the uh, last one, though. And that's that it seems to have a lot more firepower than the last one did. This one has missiles out the ass. It's got the big set of missiles on the top. It's got the two cannons mounted to the side. Like, this thing is decked out in firepower at the very least. I will say that. It even seems to be able to shoot backwards every once in a while. So, like, that's neat, I suppose. Even then, it's likely that they hated working on this because they knew it was a cash grab too, probably. Honestly. 
but I can just imagine though, like one of these days, just really shit talking a game, and some developer being like, "No, this was actually a, a project that we were all extremely excited to work on and poured our heart and soul into," and then uh, everyone just says that it was the worst thing they ever played. And man, I would just feel so bad, you know? Like, <laughs> like, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to to dismiss your life's work as just being a pile of garbage. <laughs> Uh, I just I just feel bad if something like that did happen. I don't think, you know, I don't think it ever would, especially since we're tiny in uh, the grand scheme of things. You know, it's actually funny. I was looking, the stats were a little outdated, so I don't know if it's still the same now, but I was looking at uh, average Twitch stats and whatnot, and thanks to all of you amazing people that show up to damn near every stream, um, we are actually technically in the top, like, what is it? I, I forget the numbers because this was actually months ago that I was looking at it, but like top 30% or something ridiculous. Um, because the overwhelming majority of, of streams just have, you know, zero or one person in them or whatever. But again, thanks to you people, I, I generally have three or more people in each stream. My, my average is actually like five or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's right around five, which again actually puts us in the top sum percentile which is actually really cool <laughs> like <laughs> like sure you know you look at someone like i mean i guess ninja's not on twitch anymore but you look at someone like ninja or uh or or uh ten what what is it ten the tat man whatever his name was or the uh the hot tub streamers and <laughs> amaranth and whatnot you know and you look at the the thousands of people that they have per stream and it's like oh yeah man my my three looks really cool now but at the same time like sitting down and actually looking at the numbers it actually feels pretty cool man so but again thanks to you guys you know it's all thanks to you guys it wouldn't be possible at all if you guys weren't viewing, tuning in. Yeah, both. <laughs> oh, we got crawlers, dude. Little little bug robots now. Hell yeah, that should be fun. I'm sure they will pose such a problem. Oh my god, you know what they make me think of? Fallout 76. The little, I forget the name of them. The little, like, Chinese something robots. In Inquisition? No, that's <laughs> that can't be right. No, mm -mm. I don't remember what they're called. But anyways, the little the little bots in Fallout 76, they're like the most annoying thing in the world. But they're all over the damn place. I hate those things so much. But they're just little like spider-like robots with that with big heads on them. And uh, they are the worst. Especially because they're like right outside the vault as soon as you leave Fallout 76. And you just run into them all the time. They're just annoying. Like they're not necessarily hard enemies or anything like that. They just get in the way. <laughs> They're always shooting at you, and they're small little targets. Ah, uh, fuck those guys, man. <laughs> I keep thinking, like, some of these things that we that we are blowing up are going to be, like, health packs or something like that. But I think we just regen health naturally. I don't know if that's casual mode at work or if that's just how the game works. But it seems like all the things that were that drop down that we blow up are, are purely for points almost, is what it feels like. And again, I don't know if it's meant to be that way or not, but it's what it seems like nonetheless. Uh, maybe shoot at the guy that's closer. There we go. That's what the right stick does, by the way. I did I did figure that out at some point. I think it told us actually. Like, hey, wanna aim at someone else? Flick the right stick. And I'm just like, okay, I can do that, man. Thanks for the heads up. Appreciate it, boo. Like this thing right here. Doesn't that look kind of like a health pack? I mean, I blew it up probably too quick for anyone to really get a look at it. But it looks like it should be a health pack or something. But it doesn't seem to be the case here. I'm going to try and take some damage real quick. Somebody shoot me. Thank you. Okay. Yep, that's good. That's good. I don't need any more. Now, we're definitely... We're not going to try and shoot any of the, the health pack looking things, right? We're just going to... Not gonna pick anything up or do any of that stuff. And there you go. See, we got we got one. We now have two health. Well, we're back down to one now because I got hit like a dumbass. But it, it seems to just refill itself. And it also, I'm not sure we can die, man. <laughs> it's like we keep getting hit, and I've never seen us die. 
I guess that's good if you're like somebody that's really not good at video games or a child or something like that. But I think defaulting to casual may have been a bad move on, on their part. Honestly. What way are we going? Okay, I guess this way. There's enemies over here, so I'm assuming that means go this way. That's usually a good marker on something to do. Oh, we got we got blowed up. I also don't know what these little dog tag looking things are that keep popping up. I think it's a score multiplier, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Okay, we're aiming at something on the other side of the rocks, but I can't actually get over there. So... Yeah, that doesn't do me much good. Okay. I really wish I could just turn the camera or something. I'm assuming I can't go through this door. Is this where we came from? No. Can't be. The camera's all twisted. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think we found it. I was lost, but now I'm found. Uh, I don't remember how the rest of that goes. That thing just came out of the ground. Like, the ground didn't open up or anything like that. It just, like, phased through the ground, dude. If they got the technology to just make matter not solid. <laughs> That's the technical term, by the way, in case anyone was interested. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what they're doing, like, with all these wars and shit in that case, dude. I'm pretty sure you could make some buttloads of cash with that kind of technology. Just think of the applications of it, man. Being able to make any object you want just not solid anymore? That would be amazing. But nope. Instead, they're just over here being jackasses. Waste of potential, really. Okay, is this one of those uh, secret area door things? I think it is. And behind this door, Pat, we have a weird looking pair of dog tags. Is that a new character? Contact found backblast. Uh, I gave your mom a backblast last night. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, anyways. What in the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, though. Man. What did that? I saw that opened up something, but was it this one right here? Yeah, okay, right there. How much longer do we have in this in this area, this 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 mission? I guess was that checkpoint? That was checkpoint three or four, so only one left. So I think we're gonna finish this mission, and that'll probably be it. It's almost time to to end the stream, anyways. So it seems like a good stopping point once we do. But we got one more. We got one more checkpoint to do, I'm assuming. It says checkpoint three or four, so that, that would only make sense. I'm pretty sure basic math says uh, four minus three is one. I think. It has been a while since I've done proper math classes, though. I could be wrong. <laughs> Bonus points can be earned by destroying the nearby fuel stations. Okay. And cutscene directly into cutscene, my favorite. Why not just have this instantly play before I took three steps? Son of a mole pod. Son of a mole pod. That's what they the called me in high school. To crack those babies open, Joes. Just stay out of their way. Okay. I can do that. Just as nasty as your standard Son of a mole pod. Exactly. Oh my god. So many little cutscenes. Why? We don't need a cutscene every three seconds. I promise you, it's not necessary. Oh. Oh, that was Lift or whatever. Lift Ticket. That's his name. He got us a vehicle. How kind of him, man. Uh, too bad it's not the, like, super decked out missile one. That one would be taking down these guys like nothing, man. Can you maybe... Is that... I thought that had a health bar a moment ago. It's so hard to, like, run over any of these dudes. <laughs> Because the controls are just ass. They are so bad. With the with the vehicle, I mean. Like, the, the, the people handle fine, I guess. But the vehicles? Nah, man. Oh, we need to shoot. That's what we were shooting, not the little building thing. My bad. Cutscene number 6,000. Thank you. 
Is that a, uh, I think that might have been a pin pad or something, one of those things you can interact with. So, oh, okay, well, we got out just so people could spawn. Very cool. Uh, just grenade him. I don't care. Whatever. Interact. Is this how we destroy the fuel stations? Yeah, okay, so we have to, we actually have to go in. We can't just blow them up for some reason. You would think, you know, the vehicle that we have that's packed with missiles, an infinite amount of them, oddly enough, would be able to destroy fuel stations. But, uh, nope. I guess we have to initiate the self-destruct sequence because <laughs> that's something that every fuel station should have built into it, obviously. I can't see. <laughs> the camera works amazingly well. Oh my lord, we know about this already. We've already blown up one of the fuel stations, man. Why are you telling me how to do it now? Beep, 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 bam. That's exactly how that works. It's the same in real life, actually. You just hit random buttons and a random, uh, on a random computer terminal near a fuel station and it blows up. So be very careful the next time you're pumping gas, man, because <laughs> you hit those buttons out of order. Let me tell you, a breaker's gonna come in. <laughs> That fuel station is going to be bye-bye. What are we shooting at? Like, I see I see the health bar here, and my guns are... It was invisible. Whatever it was, it was invisible. Whenever we hit it with the back of the car, it moved. And then blew up. I think it might have been one of those little point box thingies, but for some reason, the, the, the model for it despawned or something? I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm done trying to figure out what's going on with this game. It just is. It is whatever it is. That's that. I want these guys to just... Uh, I almost said Mortal Kombat style. GTA style. Just like rip me out of the vehicle. And then just punch me. And then take it for themselves and start driving off. That's what I want to happen here. I don't think it's going to. But oh boy. It would be great if it did. Also, hey, look, another invisible box. <laughs> it's really hard to hit, it turns out, because it's freaking invisible. <laughs> Why? Oh, my lord, dude. I just, I, my guns are all, like, focused on the box. Can I focus on someone else, maybe? Thank you. I do want to destroy the box, but I'd rather, you know, maybe kill all the people shooting at me first. Thank you. Thank you. We finally freaking did it. All right. Get out. Just get out. <laughs> Done with you. I'm still annoyed by the whole hold to interact thing. Other games do that too. That's not a, a unique to G.I. Joe thing. Um, Final Fantasy VII did that, man. The remake. And I don't get it. Why make me hold a single button to interact with something? Just have me tap the button and then play out whatever stupid animation you want to play out. It's a waste of everyone's time. I'm sorry, but not really. You know what else would benefit this game? A map. Twitch is being mean again? Beat it up, dude. Tell it to stop it right now. Mr. Noodle with another five bits. Holy hell, dude. You guys have been uber generous tonight. So thank you guys, both of you. Seriously. I appreciate you. And I am sorry that Twitch is being mean. I wish I could tell it to stop, but... I really can't do anything about it, sadly. I haven't dropped... Yeah, no, I'm still at 571, so I haven't dropped any frames since uh, the last time I checked when, when you were having buffering issues. So it's it's not a me thing. I do apologize. It's a you thing. It's not me, it's you. Gross, Noodle. You're gross. I take back all the nice things I said about you. <laughs> noodle and I got pizza tonight, though, which is dope, dude. We got just stuffed crust pizza with, uh, she got pepperoni, mushrooms, and onion. I got pepperoni, mushroom, onion, and bacon because I've been really into bacon on pizza lately. I, I never used to be the world's biggest fan of it. I felt like it made it a little bit too greasy, but like lately, it's been my go-to, man. Pepperoni and bacon. It's just really good. Really good. And then I decided to uh, treat Noodle to something nice. Well, actually, I was treating myself to some wings, even though wings are way too expensive these days. I just really wanted some. And uh, if I was going to buy myself wings, I wanted I wanted to make sure Noodle got some 
something, you know, something extra. So I, I decided to buy her some pasta, some Alfredo. Do we each get our own pizza? No, I only bought the one pizza. It was a half and half. Half of it was uh, bacon, onion, and mushroom. Half of it was just uh, onion, mushroom, well, and pepperoni on the whole pizza, too, of course. Gotta have the peps, man. I guess I probably should have said something, just in case you uh, didn't realize that. I mean, if you accidentally ate some of my bacon stuff, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah. No, oh my God, stop shooting me. I mean, I guess it's your job, but <laughs> you know what? Actually, don't stop shooting me. Stop being so annoying while you do it, though. You don't think you had a bacon while I didn't tell you? I know, I just said that, and I apologized for it, too. Like, fuck Comcast, dude. I feel it. Honestly, I feel that in my soul. I don't really. <laughs> I, I understand the hate that Comcast gets from people, but I've personally had a very good track record with Comcast. Um, I, I know I'm one of the lucky ones, but my internet service from them has basically always been at or above whatever they tell me it's going to be. And I do get outages every once in a while, but they're usually not for long. Or they're just doing like a uh, an update on their modem or something like that. My only problem is the fact that they took functionality away from the local network and put it on their stupid utility online uh, for stuff like port forwarding and, and uh, uh, like MAC address blocking and stuff like that. And it's just like annoying. Never seen something threaten to spill dog piss on someone. Never seen someone threaten to... Wait, is that what they just said? Because I was not paying any attention at all. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, wait, is that what you said? Did you say that? Twitch, you fucking piece of shit. You let me watch my favorite stream before I go over there. <laughs> I missed that message. Oh my God. <laughs> yep. I didn't see that one. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's, that's what's going to happen, man. <laughs> also, I did see Nate, you put somewhere... That you you got your first thing for the quality crops bundle. That's what you said. Very nice, dude. Are you... So, wait. Are you in year two, then? Or are you still in year one? Did you restart again? Because weren't you, like, in fall or summer or something like that? Or getting pretty close to it? I'm confused, Nate. You have some splaining to do, sir. Because I thought, I thought you were farther than that. Maybe you already made it to year two, though. I'm not sure. Ripcord, unlock this character for five battle points, and backblast. Uh, you know we gotta get backblast, dude. We're gonna be backblasting everyone. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> wide fire capability. Backblast got that wide fire. You know what I mean? X2 arc light, anti armor, flame blast system are their primary weapons. How do you... Can you even switch between weapons or do they just fire all of them at the same time? Because what's her name? Uh, Scarlet has multiple weapons. And I haven't seen a way to actually switch between them. I could just be missing something, but... Specifically, Day 6 Spring, Year 2. Very nice, man. You're getting through the game quick. Putting a lot of time in, I see. I'm just glad you're enjoying it, dude. Honestly. I The more people get into the Stardew Valley community, the better. Because... I love the Stardew Valley. Not that Eric Barone needs <laughs> any more money or anything like that. Because this dude made the game on his own. And it became one of the top selling games. You know, it's basically Minecraft. Not really. Minecraft sold a shit ton more. But still, like, it became a very, very big uh, success. Uh, sold, you know, millions and millions of copies. And made by one guy. Although once, like, the netcode and stuff needed implemented, he did get a little bit of help with that sort of stuff. But the base game was was all him. So he's done very well for himself, and he deserves it. That game is awesome, dude. Honestly, very, very good. Uh, as far as that goes, though, for us and tonight and things, what is today? Today is Friday. So normally, we would have had a stream tomorrow, but we can't no more because work sucks. I know. Uh, <laughs> so... We'll be off tomorrow. We'll be back Sunday, hopefully, with the Just One More Level podcast and Stardew Valley modded, hopefully. If not, then we'll be playing some Final Fantasy VII, or Noodle and I will be continuing our modded run of Final Fantasy VII. Or, of Final Fantasy VII? No. 
of uh, Stardew Valley. I don't know which one. Although, the again, the prequel to Final Fantasy VII was announced for everything out there and the sequel to the Final Fantasy VII remake. So I do need to finish Final Fantasy VII eventually. So, yeah, just throwing that out there, man. You vote Stardew? I mean, that's fine. If you guys want to see Stardew, I'll, I'll focus on playing Final Fantasy VII offline because uh, I do need to get that one. But uh, trust me. I don't need convincing to play more Stardew because I love that game. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully it'll be a, a, a null and void because, like, we'll just be doing the podcast like we're supposed to. Fingers crossed that uh, that that Jonathan's able to make it this week. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we'll be back Sunday with something, and then Monday will be our long stream off on Tuesdays, if I remember correctly. No. Tuesday night, we, I think, yeah, we play Tuesday night. We'll be off on Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday. I got to get used to this new schedule. It's going to, it's going to mess me up. But anyways, guys, thank you so much, everyone, for coming and hanging out with me. Rue, thank you again for that donation, dude. You really didn't need to do that, but I appreciate it greatly. Um, that was amazing of you. Noodle, thank you for all the bits. Nate, thank you for hanging out with me uh, while we play tonight, dude. I appreciate you as well. I hope to see you guys, not tomorrow, Sunday. I hope to see you guys Sunday. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye. And as always, be kind to each other. I almost forgot. Do that. That's the most important thing. Be kind. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yep, we did all that. <laughs>